play? Um, I was going. I'm looking at it now. Oh, I, I can look at it too. Anyway, so uh, I guess it's like five fifty-six, and we are. I lost Alex. Ooh. Did I lose Alex? Looks like we are live. Welcome to the show, everybody. We're going live in just a few minutes. We'll give it all the way to the 6 o'clock hour here on the Northeast Georgia Council's Facebook page. We're joined by some special guests for the Cub Scout Summer Fun Guide live stream is about to begin. Stay tuned and stay with us, and uh, we'll get started with the show. And if you're just joining us, once again, we'll be starting with the live stream in just a few minutes. It looks like we've got some visitors on. If you haven't had a chance um, to add StreamYard to your, um, to your Facebook feed, go ahead and do that so you can be a part of the live chat. We'll uh, take your shout outs and your questions throughout the show, uh, and you can drop them down there. Invite your friends to be on the show, by the way, uh, and visit in because there's going to be a lot of good information during the show. And we're going to get started in just about two minutes, right at the six o'clock hour for the Cub Scout Summer Fun Guide live stream. It's about to begin with Phil, Daniel, and Alex, our special guests, will be with us as well uh, in the program. So uh, stay tuned. Well, once again, if you're just joining us, we're going to start in just about one minute. Stay tuned and stay with us. Be sure to drop a comment down in the comments below, and we will uh, answer your questions live on the show. Be sure to add StreamYard to your Facebook feed so that you can do that, and we'll get started here in just about 30 seconds. Who's with us? Who's, who's out there? Give us a shout out right now. Looks like we're good on the feed there, everybody. Everybody's in. Everybody looks okay. Everybody, everybody doing good? All right. And it's straight up and down, 6 o'clock in the evening here for the Northeast Georgia Council. This is the Cub Scout Summer Fun Guide live stream. Welcome to the show, everybody. Welcome to the Cub Scout Summer Fun Guide live stream. I'm your host, Daniel Victorio, for the Northeast Georgia Council. And joining us on the show today, everybody, is uh, my co-host, uh, Phil, and our special guest, Alex Fritz, also on the show later on. Um, they'll be joining us here down the road. If you haven't had a chance to add... Um, if you haven't had a chance to add StreamYard to your Facebook apps, click on this or scan this code real quick and rejoin us so you can add to the discussion throughout the program and we'll feature the best shout outs, questions and comments from the scouts out there. Sit back and relax, everybody. Our show is about to begin in this episode today. We'll be covering these four summer camping adventures for Cub Scout Spring Family Camping coming up at Camp Rainy Mountain, April 28th through the 30th. Spring Fling is at Scoutland, May 19th through the 21st. Day Camp and Twilight Camps coming up locally in the month of June. And we'll have all of those dates and locations here today in the episode. And then finally, Summer Family Weekend is going on at Scoutland, June 30th through the July 2nd. And July 14th through the 16th. All of that is brought to you by Trails and Popcorn and the Scouts of the Northeast Georgia Council who sell making camp improvements possible. Scouts who sell popcorn can also earn big rewards 
and develop lifelong skills. Begin now planning your ideal year of scouting and make the big adventure popcorn possible. Visit us at nega-bsa.org slash popcorn for details about our upcoming sale this fall and now the moment you've all been waiting for. He's an Eagle Scout from Troop 56 and a world-famous alumni of the Camp Rainy Mountain staff and Scoutland staffs. Uh, it's my esteemed co-host, Mr. Phil Nichols, everybody. And then also joining us today, our special guest on the live stream with over almost 30 years of scouting experience, uh, and a lot of camping under his belt already. It's our field director from Gwinnett, the esteemed and illustrious Mr. Alex Fritz. Everybody give a big round of applause. Yay! All right. Very good. Welcome to the show, everybody. It's uh, we, we, we have a big show today. Uh, give a uh, give us a howdy and hello there, Phil and Alex. Hey, everybody. It's great seeing you all here tonight. Uh, we're excited to get st started. How's everyone doing tonight? Excited to be here. Yeah, well, I'm excited to be here, too. I was excited to put on this little show for our council here. And we are joined if uh, we, we are joined by um, several guests. Um, and if you get a chance, at, drop a comment or a question or um, a shout out down in the com comments. Let us know what pack are you from? What what town are you from? And, and uh, we'll see those and post them up here throughout the live broadcast. Today, we're gonna go over several camping opportunities um, from the Cub Scout Summer Fun Guide, in, uh, the Northeast Georgia Council's Blue Book. I got my Blue Book right here. Phil, you got yours? Oh, I got mine right Alex, here too. I've got, uh, I got my Blue Book. <laughs> Alex, I got one here. I got an extra copy here for you. But uh, so if you uh, if you haven't got this in the mail, by the way, stop by one of our Scout stores and we'll, we'll, uh, uh, we'll hand you one, but really what you need to know is on this show and on all of the links and QR codes coming up. So keep your phones handy because you can scan them in. It looks like Heather is here from PAC 726 and PAC 1737. Is that, that's in, um, that's near Monroe, right? Is that Walton? Yeah, that's County? Walton County. That's uh, two Monroe PACs represented right there. All right, there we go. So we got Walton County in the house and it looks like we also have pack 3537 from Watkinsville. Emily's on the show today. Thank you for joining us. Be sure to drop your comments and your questions. I got shout outs throughout the uh, throughout the uh, show coming up. And Stephanie is on from pack 721 in Bethlehem. Uh, that that's kind of near your area, right, Phil? <laughs> yeah, just right at 316. That, so we got uh, we got some Sweetwater folks. We got uh, Cherokee and we got Chattahoochee district folks on. So but uh, Great. We're going to have a great show. We've got a lot of information. Um, ask your questions down in the comments as we go along, because uh, that's what this is about. It's really to help you. And if you're not catching the live uh, the live stream, you can watch this on the rebroadcast because it is going to have some uh, great information to help orient your new parents and, and folks camping with us for the very first time with some tips and tricks on how to get to camp and how to uh, how to have a great time. Are you guys ready? And it looks like uh, it looks like Kim is on from Pack 62 and uh, and Troop 62. Welcome to the show. Thanks for being with us, everybody. So let's move on. The first one coming up in uh, in April, and you got the dates right here. April 28th through the 30th is our Spring Family Camping Event. Uh, I have a QR code right there on the screen for you if you want to register right now. Spring Family Camping is an annual event that goes on right at the end of April. It's a chance for Cub Scouts. Uh, well, really anybody to come out and camp at beautiful Camp Rainy Mountain. And, um, and, and this one's been going on for a while, right, Phil? It has been. Yeah. It's a <laughs> long event. Uh, always wait. Great way to get our summer kicked off. Right. It, yeah. This is kind of the, the kickoff to summer really, uh, at, at spring family camping, uh, event. It'll have hundreds of people out there. We've already got over a hundred people re pre-registered right now. Um, this is the time to register. It's a, it's a great uh, family event, and that's kind of the focus of this one. This campout is that it's a family campout. So there will be a lot of um, uh, themed events around. You see our theme there, pioneer. It's it's about uh, pioneering in the old west, and uh, so you'll see a lot of activities focused around the the pioneer theme. But it's also a family campout. So there's a lot of time where You'll just have, you know, some time either in the campsite or around the campgrounds to spend with your whole family. And there's lots to do 
um, at, 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 um, at Spring Family Camping at, and at Camp Rainy Mountain. Uh, a couple of things that we wanted to cover, camping gear, uh, some fun, unique activities, crafts and games, um, and, and hikes that are going to go on during the camp out. Our, our campfire skits and songs on Saturday night is our big campfire. And also, uh, tips and tricks on what to bring and also what not to bring. We're going to talk about that actually with both of the, the this camp out and the next camp out that Alex is going to talk about. But mainly just wanted to let you know, hey, um, we've got some information on our on our page, specifically on the Spring Family Camping page um, that, that talks about, you know, uh, how to get prepared for your first camp out at Camp Rainy Mountain. It's if you didn't know, Camp Rainy Mountain is located in Clayton, Georgia. It's in the far northeast corner of the state. Head up 985 until it becomes something other than 985. I, th- I think eventually it turns into 441 and uh, and goes right through Clayton, Georgia. Uh, um, when you get there, uh, you'll head east uh, on 76 and uh, follow the signs that way. There's there's good instructions and 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 all of that on the website. Um, when you get to camp, probably, uh, uh, you know, one of the key things to talk about here, um, and Phil, Alex, you guys jump in and help me out here. Um, you know, we have a parent's orientation on Friday night when you get to camp, but that's really too late to hear some of the things that we need to tell you about before you get there. Um, so that's why this, this is pretty much why we're doing this show, so that you, you have some information about what to expect when you arrive. The first thing is check-in and how to make that check-in go smooth. Um, a couple of good tips, and I didn't make a slide about it, but um, a couple of the tips um, for you when you're when you're when you're coming to camp, things like arrive together. So if if you're registering just as your family, uh, you want to arrive with the other folks in your pack, in your Cub Scout pack, uh, around about the same time, so that you can all go in together. Um, you want to coordinate your common gear um, so that you don't have a lot of repeat stuff that you don't need and you're not lugging around a bunch of stuff that you don't that you don't all have to have uh, things like cooking gear. And I, I, I didn't take notes on that, uh, but fill in there, Phil and Alex. <laughs> um, prepare to walk. Uh, Camp Randy Mountain's a big place and, and there's there's walking involved. So <laughs> uh, but prepare to walk. Um, I would say consolidate all of your gear into uh, one vehicle or the fewest vehicles possible for the for the check in purposes. So you can do that when you get to camp, when you get to camp and you get to the parking lot, you can consolidate all your stuff into one guy's truck um, to bring it all in. And that is the easiest and safest way to make sure that your gear makes it back there. And so that we're not sending, you know, 10 and 20 cars into the campsite. Um uh, when, when we get there, because it will be crowded and traffic is uh, kind of one of the things we have to keep an eye on um, for safety's sake. Um, when, uh, if you're the leader in charge of your unit, this is always a good uh, tip. But if you're the leader that's in charge of your unit, uh, when you're coming to camp, have your head count and your check in materials ready uh, before you go into the administration building. So you don't get sent back to your car. Um, how many boys they're going to ask you this. How many boys do you have? How many girls do you have? How many adults do you have? We're going to, we, we, we have to know all of that information before you go into the campsite. Uh, this is one that Phil, you brought up, uh, in the pre-show, but, um, when you get to your campsite, unload your gear and then get your car out of there. Tell us why we want to do that. Absolutely. We don't want those roads back there congested with a lot of cars. Uh, so we want you to drop your gear off, bring it back out to the parking lot, and that way you can go up and set up your campsite in peace, nice and slowly, um, so you're not rushing through it. And take your time. But whatever you do, I, I see this all the time, both at Camp Rainy Mountain and Scoutland, is people pull in, take their gear out, and they don't see anybody else. I'll just go ahead and set up my stuff now. It won't take that much time. And then, uh, you know, um, an hour into it, there's people waiting to get your spots. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Unload your gear, take your car back to the parking lot, and then walk back and and, and then start setting up. That is. Um, the best way to do it. That's for the sake of your, your fellow campers, really. Um, also, just remember that you may be sharing a campsite with, um, with, with, with other folks. So that your, your campsites will be assigned uh, when you get there. You can, uh, if you like, request a campsite. Uh, there's no guarantees on that. You can request one either by emailing one of us um, or, or let us know what your special needs are if you have those. Um, Again, though, you'll find out what your what your definite campsite is when you get there, 
And, um, and so you just want to also plan that, uh, you, you know, don't spread out over the whole campsite uh, because there may be another pack or another group that will be camping with you. Also, on your way in, um, if, if, if I, I try to have good signage everywhere. If I don't have enough signs, people say there's not enough signs. If I put too many signs, people say there's too many signs. <laughs> so, I'll try to meet that in the middle. But what you're looking for when you go in uh, is where, where where is first aid and emergency services located? Um, they, they, they'll probably remember to tell you that first thing when you get into the uh, administration building for check-in. But just for your purposes, take note of that because uh, you never know when you'll need it. Um, also, both of the, the spring family camping and spring fling, most Cub Scout events that go on at one of our camps has a parents orientation meeting that starts usually around the nine o'clock hour on Friday evening. And that's kind of why you want to get there as early as possible. Not too early, but as early as possible so you can get in, get set up and have at least one leader from your Cub Scout pack join us for that orientation meeting. Because at that meeting, we're going to cover some details that we might not have covered in this video or on the online information or in your flyer, right? So that that's um, uh, that th those are just some important notes. Did I miss anything, guys, uh, when, when we're talking about that? I will, I will say Kim in the comments had asked a really good question oh, um, yeah. about if there's opportunities for troops to come and help at spring family camping. Great and question, I give, Kim. I will give that a resounding yes. Mm -hmm. um, we're always looking for great Scouts BSA youth to come up to camp that weekend and help out. Um, we have lots of different activities, a lot going on in camp. Um, so we can definitely use some really good helpers um, throughout that weekend. Uh, so please let your troops know. Um, I'll tell you. Come and help. And uh, it really makes a difference for all programming. Having those scouts actually teach the Cub Scouts, wonderful. They actually listen. Re really great question, Miss Kim, and thank you for asking that. Uh, uh, really specifically, um, if, especially if you have a scout who knows their way around the camp, like Camp Rainy Mountain and Scoutland, they're both really big places. And if it's your first time, um, you know, you'd like to have somebody that can help show you around. We always need folks. Uh, that can do that, but also because, for instance, in um, spring family camping, um, we uh, we um, there there there's a couple of hikes that go on, and and you notice that I was I was actually trying to refer back to the slide. You know, we are going to have hikes. There's a couple different ones. A, a lot of folks love to go to Big Rock while you're at Camp Rainy Mountain, and um, and one of the other things that we're doing because it's pioneers, we're going to go down to the Gold Rush Village. And, and check some of that stuff out. Those will both be big highlights. They're hikes, but it's easy to get lost. So we'll have guides, uh, but if you would like to volunteer to be one of those, we would love it, especially experienced scouts. That um, you know, That's always just a good way. Kim also asks, who do we contact if we want to be a helper uh, from Scouts BSA troops um, volunteering to be at Scout? By the way, if you, Scouts BSA participants, if you're volunteering to help out at a camp, that is service hours. And one of us will give you um, either a note or a letter to your scoutmaster, letting you know this is how much this is how much service hours you just earned by helping out at the camp. But any one of us, and I'll put our contact information up here at the very end um, by by email. Um, I think you can also let us know that in each of the individual registrations as well. There's a place to note that, um, and so. Uh, um, it, Either way, uh, either by email to one of us here on the show, and again, I'll give you that contact information at the end, um, or through your registration when, when, when you go to register for camp. So um, a couple of things to, to look at here uh, that, that we've provided for you now. We've been asked about this, but uh, uh, there's on the webpage, grab this QR code or this bit.ly link here for the sample packing list. It's going to tell you all of the things that, and th this is for new families too, but for scout leaders, go through this with your, with or, or, or even if you don't have time to do it at a meeting, just email it to everybody. It's a great resource. It tells you, um, it, it gives you suggestions on what kind of gear you're going to need, what stuff to go, uh, you know, if you don't already have to go out and get, and what stuff to borrow or share or all have, you know, so you don't have to go out and buy a whole bunch of new gear. Um, but um, that that's just a handy thing to have. There's the, it's kind of the same one for Camp Rainy Mountain and Scoutland. And then also um, send this the, the, the other link on the opposite side there. Download the map um, just because it gives you a chance to orient yourself and where you are, 
they'll hand out maps at the camp out, but it's good to know this before you go. And that's just another good way um, to be prepared. Heather says, I definitely have a few scout BSA youth that will come help. Great. Okay. And Heather, we have your contact information, but I, uh, you can contact us and just, just let us know who, who's coming to help. That is so great. That's we absolutely uh, need that um, from, from all sides of the council. So thank you for, uh, for bringing that up. Miss Kim, thank you for, <laughs> for sharing that with us too. That's Pioneer Spring Family Camping. What, um, if I missed a question in the comments, drop them anyway, and we'll go back to this. But here, here it is again. Spring Family Camping coming up on April 28th through the 30th at beautiful Camp Rainy Mountain. There's a QR code. What else, what else did we need to share about Spring Family Camping? What a great event, huh? It, it's going to be a lot of fun. It's always, like we've mentioned earlier, it's a great way to really get summer kicked off. Yes, absolutely. Um, and Alex, have you been to Spring Family Camping before with us? I have not had that opportunity yet. I'm oh, yeah. You, it though. It, it, it's, uh, so even if you've been to Camp Rainy Mountain, Phil, you can probably agree with me on this. Even if you've been to Camp Rainy Mountain, it, it's not the same in the summertime or in the fall as it is in the spring. Spring is yep. so beautiful at Camp Rainy Mountain, especially at this time of year. It's usually during a time, uh, a little bit of um, local folklore. Alex, you probably hadn't heard of this before. Do you know what blackberry winter is? No. Ah, so see, that's a that's a thing that happens. At, it usually happens during the uh, uh, during the end of April and early May. Blackberry winter is the last cold snap before summer really kicks into gear. So it gives it a, a, a kind yep. of an interesting feel. There's Scott Sorrell as he says, well done. Thanks for all the oh, information. Man. NEGA <laughs> rocks. That's true. But really what's true, Scott, is you rock. Thanks for joining us on the show. Any other shout outs, throw them down there in the comments and let us know what, what pack are you from or, or uh, what, uh, what district are you hailing from? Those are all uh, good thing. So that we'll keep going with the show, everybody. That was um, spring real, family camping. If you real quick, it, Daniel, before we move broadcast. on, oh yeah, uh, Phil. Stephanie has a really good question. What's the earliest that we can check in on Friday evening? You know, that's actually uh, thank you, um, thank you for. <laughs> yep, there it is. Uh, what's the earliest we can check in on Friday? This is pretty typical for most uh, camping weekends at either location, but usually not before five. So that's the uh, I say usually not before five. Um, because it, it it may change, but that's just to give the staff time to get there to check you in properly. Even if you got there before five, you can't go to your campsite before then, and, and you can't go set up. That's what a lot of folks want to do is get there as early as they can to go set up their campsite. Unfortunately, without personnel uh, feet on the ground, we, we don't have, you know, there's not a, a way to do that and you have to be checked in properly. So really good question. What's the earliest we can check in on Friday? Um, for spring family camping, it's going to be no sooner than 5 p.m. Um, so you can, again, get there before that, but you'll you'll just wait in the parking lot. And that's OK, too. But you don't want to walk to your campsite or hike your gear in or drive your gear in before that, because you have to be properly um, checked in beforehand. And that just gives our volunteer staff time to get there on a Friday afternoon, just like you. So uh, I know there'll be a mad dash uh, to get in. but um, also, I think uh, it's probably um, a good time to say this um, for spring family camping. I think for 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 this and for spring fling, the uh, participants, uh, whoever registered you is going to receive emails in the lead up to it. And so you'll get an email saying a lot of details specifically like this. But uh, uh, for each of the questions that y'all are asking, we're going to include that information in that uh, lead up uh, to camping email just to make sure that everybody gets oriented. And and that's a. Uh, a great question that always gets asked the, the, the week of the event. So, uh, yep. yeah. What's the earliest we can check in? Not before five. And it might uh, it might be earlier if we know we can get there earlier, but probably uh, plan right now not to get there before 5 p.m. Best thing you can do is communicate beforehand. That's right. Yeah. And and uh, 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 just to reemphasize, too, one of the points uh, that we brought up, coordinate all of this with your whole pack so that you all arrive together um, and can check in at the same time. That's so important. Um, it, it, if you do drop off or whatever at your location, um, that will that will mix things up, and you'll have uh, scouts and parents who don't know what to do, kind of standing around and waiting. And that's uh, that, that's not good. It's not not a good, great way to help them if they are. But um, try to show up all at the same time. Sean says, 
Uh, Sean says, Pack 402 here from Ella J. Wow. All right. Awesome. See, we can uh, excited for all the great stuff for our scouts to do. And there is a lot to do. There's a, the, the, uh, that we, we've only covered one camp out <laughs> and we're only going to get to cover four. We have so much more going on in the council besides that. But, uh, Hey, uh, while, while we're transitioning into the next thing, be sure to hit the like button and give us a shout out down in the comments right now. Ask your questions so we can answer them right here live on the program. Um, thank you again for joining us, everybody uh, uh, live here on the show. So let's keep it moving guys. How about that? Uh, let's go back to the, um, uh, back to the show here. All right. Trying not to hit buttons I'm not supposed to hit. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is good. So the next big activity we have, if I uh, don't talk about Scout Show very quickly, though, uh, is Spring Fling. Spring Fling happening in May this year. We've pushed it back because we're really looking forward to having a good fling into summer with our Spring Fling. <laughs> I was, I've been sitting on that one for a while so i'm happy to finally get <laughs> it. love it you're gonna get flung, flung <laughs> into um this is really that that final chance and opportunity for our scouts both wolves and bears to have a good time before they move up to that next level with day camp um big thing this year spring fling our theme is lakeside adventure we are trying to do as much with that beautiful lake as we can so for the first time, we are having an official spring fling fishing derby. All right. Happening on that Sunday, beautiful, pristine lake. All right. We're going to have some good, a good time and a lot of prizes for scouts that catch those fish uh, during that derby. We're also going to have a lot of uh, water going on as since we're at the lake, might as well. And uh, we're looking forward to a good time with spring fling again may 19th through the 21st and it's for our wolf and bear scouts all right now this happening it's happening at Scoutland, and rose we're absolutely happy to be able to give you this information and Scoutland is a wonderful camp that is central for the whole council not saying that crm the camp rating mountain is not central but it's easy for everyone to get to <clears throat> And there's a couple of really cool things about Scoutland. One, it is close. Two, if this is your first time camping at Scoutland, don't worry. There's a lot of, uh, I'll say, stores that are close by. So if you forget something like a pan or a pot, you can go and get that. Um, but the beautiful thing with Scoutland is it's really easy to get to. It's central. <clears throat> and not to mention it's where everyone starts their camping adventure. So everyone has a Scoutland story. Yes, it does have the best playground. If we go back that to that last slide, you saw the Fort, Fort Adventure. That is a full-on playground in the back, and it's a Scout-sanctioned playground, which is even better. Um, <clears throat> I, I, I wanted to make sure to put that picture out there. Ford Adventure is is so much fun. <laughs> it's, uh, it's what awesome. a great comment, though. Thank you, Emily. Best playground, uh, and I bet there's a trophy out there for that. Oh, most certainly. Uh, a couple of things about Scoutland that are just fantastic to go through. Um, there is not one, but there are actually two massive campfire rings that we have. One is at Council Rock, where you actually have two campfires. The other one's at the dock. That is that picture on that last slide it is a beautiful setting at, at sunset getting to see all of the lake. Um, and uh, if we want to go on to that next one, these are some shots from last year's spring fling. Uh, we had a lot of just a great activity going on, a lot of activity. So this year's spring fling, we have all three shooting sports, archery, slingshots, BB guns. Yes, we get to do all three. We're going to be going through uh, a lot of the aquatic adventures and electives for <clears throat> wolf and for bear, as well as a couple of STEM activities. So we're going to have a lot of fun at Spring Fling. Cool. So last but not least, um, we have more information on Scoutland. Make sure you pause when you're going through the recording of this video to capture these bit.ly links. <clears throat> um, that map is going to help you be able to get around. Uh, Scoutland is 
nice and compact, but it's still, there's a lot of activities in different areas. You want to make sure you don't get lost. Uh, and the second one, a beautiful packing list. This is going to help you, especially if you're a first timer going camping, this is going to help you make sure you have the items that you need. Now, something about cub, cub camping, and Daniel has touched on this one quite a bit. Make sure you talk with the rest of your den and the rest of your pack when you're going out to these different activities, these different campouts. <clears throat> it makes life a lot easier for you when you actually get to coordinate your menu, your gear. That way you don't all, you don't all have to worry about bringing a stove. If you can plan that out together, it makes the camping experience a lot more fun, a lot easier and you actually get to kick back a little bit and relax while you're out there. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so that's why we put the sample packing list together. It's not just about a packing list. It talks about how to plan, um, you know, what gear to coordinate with each other. Things like cooking gear, something as simple as pots and pans. And I, I know I've, I've been to plenty of family camping weekends where I saw uh, you know, brand new moms and dads uh, unwrapping and unboxing their brand new tent. I, I will say, yep. Don't wait till you get to camp to do that. Uh, we actually had one of our district executives uh, was camping out at the Tri-County District this weekend, set up her tent in the middle of the scout office to practice uh, to, uh, a couple of times uh, to make sure that she knew how to do it before going camping for the first time. That's a great idea. Also, just a fun family activity before you go on the camp out is take some time to set up your brand new tent and, and whatever new gear you have um, so that you, you know before you go. All right. Well, any other good tips that we need for Scoutland or Camp Rainy Mountain, Phil? I would say always double check what you're packing in your car. I don't know if there's been a camp out where I haven't forgotten something. So print out that list and just do a little checklist as you load everything into the car. That way you're not stuck at camp without a sleeping bag or without a pillow at night. That That's, uh, gosh, that, that that can't go without being said. Uh, I, I, uh, every time I'm at a campery, there is, I'll hear, you know, as I'm visiting troops uh, around, there's this one kid that forgot his sleeping bag. Yeah. Uh, there's always, there's, there's always, always somebody. Like, Gosh, there's just there's there's really nothing more important than uh, eating well and sleeping comfortably <laughs> at night. Yeah. So uh, just check on those things. Make sure we don't leave gear behind. That's always a um, I, we could really spend most of the show on just um, selecting the right camping gear and the sample packing list. Um, unfortunately, we don't have that much time, but we will try this. Uh, we're we're going to do this show again uh, down the road coming up on April 16th, another Sunday where we might do just a little bit deeper dive into things like the sample packing list and what gear to bring. Uh, and, and also um, a little bit more details on some of the um, uh, theme specific programs going on at both of these two campouts, because we're going to have a lot more details on that um, coming up as well. So join us, plan to join us again here uh, on our Facebook page for another live stream coming up on April 16th at 6 PM. And we'll post a, uh, a thing over uh, here or here or wherever uh, about that coming up soon. Alex, and, uh, we, we, we talked about volunteers and uh, helping out at camp, but one of the things we always need help with at all of our Cub Scout camping events is range masters. Yes. Um, will you talk us through that real quick? Yeah, most certainly. So with Cub Scouts, we have the opportunity to have range masters from every walk of life, Nice to have you here, Candy. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Thanks for joining the show. Absolutely. And uh, so with Cub Scouts, we have the opportunity to be able to have anyone as a range master. Granted, they've taken the training. So we want to make sure there are no barriers to our scouts having that great opportunity with a shooting sports program. So as a council, we are putting on three separate trainings for that Cub Scout Range Master. Um, with first one's coming up actually in less than a month now with Scout Show at the Gwinnett County Fairgrounds. That's April 22nd. It is very much a full day course, but it is a lot of fun and you get to be in the center of the action at Scout Show. Uh, the second one happening at Spring Family Camping up at Camp Rainy Mountain. Uh, 
that is also the all three of these are all day courses but that one's a lot of fun because you get to see the shooting sports happening as you're taking this training so you get to see you know how it actually looks and then again session three is happening at spring fling at scoutland there on may 20th again full course full time a lot of fun and uh, you get to share the range with uh the scouts as they're shooting and they're doing their own shooting program at each of these individual events. Yep. It's a great, these are all great opportunities to take part in the Cub Scout range master training. Uh, just kind of as a reminder, it's not really for you to do range master or BBs or archery at your local unit. That's actually not allowed. You, the only time you can do shooting sports is at a uh, council or district function. Um, but we, we always need more help and it, it, it doesn't hurt us to have more trained folks. So if you have time in your schedule or, or, or need to get to one of these trainings, this is the time I didn't have a chance to put a QR code and there's not like a central landing page for these on the website, Phil. I don't, I don't, I don't know how the website works, but, uh, uh, if you know, somebody is going to need this screen cap this, uh, or also I can email you the slides from today's program and you'll have this available in those slides. So, um, but just let us know we've got all these dates already listed. You do have to pre-register for the Cub Scout Range Master Training. Um, uh, that shouldn't say Ranger. <laughs> uh, anyway, um, but uh, yeah, you'll 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 get a chance to sign up for those on our website, and I think that they're all on the actual event pages as well. Yes, they are. So. Yeah, registration links are available if you look up Scout Show, Spring Family Camp, or Spring Fling. You'll be able to get through it to there. Yeah, uh, real quick, uh, Rose said, I, I didn't give to give them a shout out because we were in the middle of uh, going through the information, but Rose said, love this information session. Rose, thank you for joining us today. Emily said, best playground ever. That's where that comment came from. Thank you for joining us today. Candy's also on the show, and she said, awesome. I'm excited to see the summer programs in action. We're excited to see all of you out there at uh, Camp Rainy Mountain and Scoutland, especially for these two events, but for all the upcoming events that we have going on um, uh, th this uh, this summer for, for Cub Scouts. Yeah, and a group that you'll see in a lot of these activities is our Order of the Arrow. Uh, for those that don't know, the Order of the Arrow is Scouting's Honor Society. Um, and these kids are going to come out to all these different camping activities, different day camps. Um, and they're going to be a lot of the staff that you see out there. Um, they put a lot of work and dedication into their craft to uh, make sure these activities are fun and uh, have enough people there to make sure kids can have a great time. Uh, they also put a ton of work into our camps um, as well. Just last weekend, we were up there, um, had 97 new candidates enter the Order of the Arrow, complete their weekend. Um, and they put over 1,400 hours of service into Camp Rainy Mountain last weekend. As you can see, that picture there of them working on our bridge uh, by our amphitheater. They put a lot of work into our camp. Uh, so when you see the Order of the Arrow for Cub Scouts, um, this will be something you can uh, look to join when you uh, cross over and do a troop. Uh, but you'll see the Order of the Arrow out of a lot of these activities. Yep. Uh, usually recognized um, around camp with the white sash. They don't always wear those. Um, but here's uh, one of our lodge uh, folks, Jason Moody, uh, from the Order of the Arrow, says, happy to serve. Uh, this segment is brought to you by Mwogo Lodge and the Order of the Arrow Scouting's National Honor Society and a brotherhood of honor campers who give cheerful service to our camps. Uh, and that is, um, uh, the, 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 you'll see those folks around their, their mission and they, they are tasked with supporting camping programs and camping promotions. And that's why this program was really important um, to the Order of the Arrow folks. And we give them a lot of credit and helping us, uh, you know, they take those popcorn dollars and they uh, and, and they use them wisely, I think, to help be benefit all of our scouts by building projects and 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 really with the manpower that it takes to um, um, to support, uh, I, I guess, the upkeep and maintenance of of our camping yep. facilities, so that we have a nice place to go camp. We've got a bunch of people on the live stream here today, and. Um, and uh, if you haven't had a chance to drop a, a shout out or a question down in the comments so we know that you're there and let us know what pack you're from. Um, I, I think I've seen so far throughout the show today folks from Sweetwater, from Cherokee District, from the Chattahoochee District, from the Etowah District. Um, and we've got folks from all over the council, 
all different types of leaders and parents joining us today. Thank you so much for supporting this program and making sure that we have a chance to send our scouts to a quality camp this year. Phil, you want to talk about day camps and twilight camp? Man, I sure do. Man, when I think back to when I was a Cub Scout uh, many years ago at this point, uh, day camp was always one of my favorite activities. I looked forward to going to the Lawrenceville First United Methodist Church campgrounds. Uh, growing up, that's where we had camp back in the day. And it's just a fun week of fellowship. Uh, Incidentally, so our, Phil, I want to say that's yep. where that's where I went to uh, day camp as well. At the, I, I remember um, going when I went to day camp at the uh, – it was the only day camp in Gwinnett County back yep. then. <laughs> yeah, Gwinnett, Gwinnett's grown a little bit since we were younger, Daniel, I think. Uh, yeah, it's really, it surely has. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, man, day camp and twilight camp offers a really cool opportunity for your scouts um, to come out and work on advancements, work on achievements um, for that next year. They really get a jump start on their scouting journey um, as they get older. Um, and the great thing about our day camps and our twilight camps is that they're all across our council. Uh, we don't just have one like we used to back in the day, uh, but we have these 19 camps across the entire 26 county area. Um, so you can take a look at these days and these locations, um, and I am sure that there's somewhere that's close to you for camp. Uh, our camps range from three to five days. Um, our day camps go from nine until three. Our twilight camps from five until nine. Um, as you can see there, there's lots of opportunities for you guys to come out. Um, and don't feel limited to only coming to one camp. You don't have to come just to the camp that's in Buford if you live in Buford. You can also come to the one in Snellville. Come to the one down at Lilburn, Gainesville. Um, go to as many day camps as you possibly can. Your scouts are going to be the opportunity to do lots of fun things at each one of these camps. Um, they'll do activities like shooting sports. They'll do crafts. They'll do songs. They'll do games. Um, there's tons of things that they do uh, when it comes to going to day camp um, over the course of the summer. You'll see most of them are in the month of June. Uh, we do have one that's in July over in the uh, coming area. Uh, but the month of June will be fast and heavy with tons of different day camps across the area. And of course, when you're looking at day camp, we're also always looking for staff as well. So for our adults, take a look at just some of the things that you might be able to help with. Um, Maybe you're an expert in crafts. Maybe you're the artist in your family. Uh, maybe you're great with sports and games, taking kids out in the field, teaching them some um, great team building activities. Uh, maybe you're a nature expert and want to show kids the great nature that we have in our area. Uh, so there's lots of different opportunities. Um, and maybe you want to come hang out with your kid for the week um, and get to meet all their new friends that they're going to make when they come to camp because you'll have people from throughout the entire area come out to camp this year. Um, it's lots of fun, lots of great activities. Follow this QR code and you can register to be on staff. And even if you can't come for all five days, maybe you can come for two or three. Uh, we can always use an extra pair of hands uh, to go around and uh, help out at our camps. That's a really good point, Phil. You, you know, and and uh, you want to if you're if you would like to join the staff, um, follow the link here. Uh, just like registering and, and get signed up for it. And it lets our camp directors know, hey, I want to be a part of this and help out. Um, but I'll tell you, if, you're, if, if your scout is coming to, to day camp or twilight camp, there are many, many ways to help out without being on staff. We, we, we've got folks that, you know, the most they can do is drop five kids off uh, and a cooler full of ice. That's a huge help to us. Yep, so, get, um, get, get, get the kids there. So that's a huge benefit. Yes, absolutely. Um, I, I get asked this a lot, but uh, if you're if you're talking to your neighborhood folks and in, in uh, Cub Scouts, why go to why go to day camp? Um, and and there's a couple of points here, just on this side of this slide here. It's the it is the promise of adventure. That's what you know. When we came to the classrooms, uh, Phil and Alex, um, yep. we we promised them adventure. This is one of them. <laughs> so yep. uh, that's a big important part of it. Crafts and creative takeaways. There's always going to be uh, things that they go home with just about every day. Um, you, the biggest reason, though, is earning advancements and achievements because you're going to get a jump start on your new rank. So at the very first pack meeting of the year, your scout's going to get um, you know a bunch of uh, pins and badges and doodads and beads and bell loops or whatever it is they give <laughs> all those Cub Scouty things. And uh, if you didn't go to day camp, oh, man, uh, you're going to be watching all those guys uh, you know, guys and gals taking 
<laughs> that's a, you're you're gonna you're gonna feel left out because you're gonna be behind the eight ball. Uh, that's so right. Yeah, make sure to come to camp and join in. Uh, I mean, aside from that, it is a great way to get a jump start on your advancement year. So if you're uh, a lion moving up the Tigers, you want to get a jump start on it. This is where you go. You go to uh, go to Cub Scout Day Camp. So that's a um, that. There's a lot more to cover in day camp today, too. Um, but, we're, you know, just we won't be able to cover it all in this show. Um, and there's still some details and some things that we're working out um, with uh, a few of the crafts going on and some of the specific locations. It can get uh, we, we can get into a lot of details on on what kinds of things are going on. But uh, needless to say, there's a lot going on at day camp and twilight camp this year. Uh, we've got a lot of excited uh, camp directors that are already a bunch of them are at training this weekend, right? Yeah, they're, they're just now, uh, just now getting back from their direct. We had, uh, I think, ten directors this weekend go up there to to get trained. So they are yeah, that's they awesome. Fired up. I, I missed one shout out here from Crystal from Pack Five Eleven. That's Appalachian. That's Appalachian. Uh, <laughs> oh, there we go. That, that, that's, that's a shout out from almost every district, I think, Daniel. Is that a, that's every district? Every somebody from every district's been on the show. I think so. That's, that's awesome. What a great show, guys! Thank you guys for helping me put this on. Um, if you haven't had a chance to, um, uh, or if you missed the beginning part of the program, it's totally okay. We're going to leave this up in the rebroadcast and a chance for you to view the slides and the QR codes and links again. Um, share this with your uh, fellow scouts and leaders. It, it's it's useful in this way. Um, if you're sharing it and letting folks know, hey, this is how to get to camp. This is what you. This is some of the information that you need um, to get excited about it. The, you know, let as I was telling the guys, less of a promotion and more of a how-to mm -hmm. on uh, on getting there. Um, and hopefully, we've answered some of your questions. If we missed something, you know, drop it down in the comments now and let us know because we want to make sure, especially when we go. Um, Especially when we go to uh, when we go get later in the season, we're we're going to do an extra special um, live stream event coming up on April sixteenth uh, with some more details. So rejoin us again in uh, future upcoming episodes. We've also got um, one other uh, one other thing to round out the summer. It's the summer family camping weekend at Scoutland again at Scoutland. No two camps are alike, though. That's something that Alex was saying to me. Um, in, in our in the chat beforehand, uh, th there's something unique about every single one of them. This one happens to take place in July, and and I, I'm going to share with you why 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 you want to know that too. But um, uh, similar to the spring fling event and the uh, and the spring family camping event, summer family camping is a really laid back chance for you to be at Camp Rainy Mountain. There there's not a lot of intensive um, program scheduling. It is really specifically just a chance for you and your family to get out and camp. But we're going to put a big emphasis on the fishing and the canoeing, and you can see that in the um, in in the you, you'll get to do some of that at some of the other camps. But this is the one when you come out to Scoutland. Uh, we we're gonna it, there's gonna be a big emphasis on water. So uh, wh wh while you're out there for the summer, because it's gonna be hot, and that's the time of year, right? Um, uh, we'll be out there summer family camping weekends at Scoutland weekend, weekend one, June 30th through July 2. That takes you into the month of July and weekend number two, July 14th through the 16th. Um, and uh, let, let me flip to this slide first. The, the reason I wanted to point out that that's in July is if, you, if you're going to spring family camping uh, or, or spring fling and then you go to day camp in June and then you go to summer family camping in July, that helps your pack qualify for the national summertime pack award. Um, uh, and, and, and that's, um, uh, just an, an award that you, you yeah, there's some requirements or criteria that you have to, uh, achieve, um, uh, with your whole pack going, uh, to one of these events, you gotta be camping and doing outdoor stuff all summer long, uh, in each of the month months. And it encourages you to continue doing scouting even after school gets out. So that's a, that, that, that was why. And then, it packs pack leaders. If you didn't know about the national summertime pack award, you're probably eligible for this award when you send scouts to all of these camps that we just talked about. Right, Phil? Absolutely. Yeah. You are eligible. Um, also don't forget as you're coming to these activities, everybody that's adults and kids included um, need to have their annual and health met health and medical record uh, parts a and B with them to bring to the activity. 
And now keep in mind, this is not something that you have to have filled out by your doctors. Um, this is something you as the parent can fill out for your scout or for yourself as the adult. Um, but it's critical that we have these so that, knock on wood, if something happens, we're able to help you out in case you need it. Um, so it's really important that you bring filled out both parts A and B. Um, and it needs to be done within the last 12 months. So you can't just reprint the one from last spring. Um, you'll need to fill out a new one. That's right. And uh, it, it does have to it doesn't have to be doctor signed, but it does have to be parent signed. Parents, so you, it, especially specifically if you're going to one of these camps, make sure that you have those filled out. If you don't have one filled out and you show up, we'll just have you sit down and fill one out. Uh, but that takes time and it will gum up the works when it comes to check in. So this is another one of those things that helps make your check in and your first day at camp go smoothly is have these filled out uh, Cub Scout leaders work with your whole pack to make sure everybody knows that they need to have this. If you're going to day camp or twilight camp, you got to turn this in um, before before you come. You got to you got to send that in with your uh, application. You got to You just got to make sure that it's in before you go. So. Yep, and I will say a little tip for anyone who's never filled one out. Make sure to give us a copy. Keep the original yourself, uh, but make a copy to bring in and turn in. Um, that way, in case you forget it at the end of the weekend, it's not that big of a deal. Uh, so bring the copy. Leave the original at home. Uh, yeah, leave, leave the original at home. Uh, we have had folks that had to, you know, fax one in. I, I, people don't use fax machines anymore. Or email one in or whatever. Yeah. Uh, and, and so... Just have your uh, have your um, have your original copy left at home. That's right. So uh, one more mention, I guess, about the National Summertime Pack Award. Did you get this when you were a scout, Alex or, or Phil? Yeah, I still have the uh, the the pin. From, yeah, it's a it's a yeah. okay. It's still the little gold. It's a little pin. bit, yeah. Um, Same so, size. Got ours for going to camp, and then uh, the camping weekends, and our back to pack in August. It's easy easy to get. Yes, That's is. right. Yeah. So, so easy to get. Um, but uh, just as a reminder, here's the, the dates again. Let's go camping y'all that I put the QR code up right here. That is, that actually takes you to our um, Cub Scout summer fun guide. Uh, it starts with uh, day camp and twilight camp, but if you're on our website and if you're on that page and you look to the right hand side, it links you to every single Cub Scout summer camping event that's going on this summer. Um, so do, do yourself a favor, click on that QR code, use your phone or whatever, or screenshot this um, for future use um, because that, uh, and you can share that with your scouts as well. This whole, um, th uh, this whole uh, live stream is going to just stay up on our Facebook page. It's useful for a lot of things. Share it with your parents. Uh, and hopefully we've answered a lot of your great questions. Any other shout outs down in the comments now before we end the show? Um, but otherwise, we're, we, we've kept it in uh, in just under an hour. Phil and Alex, I'm sure you're glad. We, all, the, the hours and hours we spent practicing this, I think, just paid off, gentlemen. Uh, no kidding. No kidding. <laughs> <laughs> now, this has been a ton of fun. Thank you uh, for everybody who watched us and who is going to come camp with us this summer. Uh, we can't wait to see you. Absolutely. Um, a big thanks to everybody. We, want, we will see you at camp. Um, I, I, I did want to say, Alex, uh, Phil, thank you guys um, for for uh, being on the show today and uh, uh, supporting Cub Scout Absolutely. camping in our districts uh, and for our council. This was a good event to have, I think, uh, and helps parents. I, I think if we missed anything, you know, drop it down in the comments. Even after the show's over in the rebroadcast, we'll go back and answer every single one of them. Uh, and hope that we can help your parents and your Cub Scouts find the big adventure at one of our camps this summer through summer family camping events. Um, thanks again for joining us, and we'll see you soon. And any last words, guys? It's just going to take us out with that, right? That's great. We'll see That's you guys good. this that summer. We look forward to seeing you, and let's have some fun. Yeah, it's going it's to be a lot of fun. Catch us on the rebroadcast. We, we'll see you guys soon. And join us again for the next episode coming up on April 16th at 6 p.m. It's a Sunday. And we'll cover many of these same topics again. But also, uh, we're, we're going to take a deep dive into some of the details about the themed events going on at all of our summer camps. What, 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 oh, Heather said what, one, one more shout out here. She says, we will see you at Scout Show. Alex, you Yes, we will. Spirit of Adventure. <laughs> We're going to have show is another great, great event uh, coming up in April. Um, and, and, uh, tell us the dates for that real quick, Alex. So, we, uh, show. Scout show is happening on the 21st, but we have camping, we have camping happening that entire weekend from 
Friday to uh, Sunday. Cub Scout packs and troops, crews, and posts are all welcome. Everybody comes. And that whole scout. weekend out there. Uh, we're going to have a lot of fun on that Saturday. And I don't think, no, actually, we haven't done a formal announcement. So I guess breaking oh, yeah. news. Are you all right oh. with that, Daniel? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Bring it. Yeah. This we're going to have a full auto show, car show happening at Scout Show. Okay. All right. We already had uh, about five car clubs say they're going to come out. And uh, we need to have the Scouts coming because they're the ones voting on the top cars. Oh, hey. Okay. Yeah, so a go. car show going on at Scout Show. Yep. We're actually going to have a, uh, a Q&A booth for Cub Scout Day Camp and, and yes, Summer Camping Adventure. And some activities there. I think yeah, our, uh, our Cub Scout Day Camp directors are planning on doing some kind of leather working with all the Scouts. Oh, uh, yeah. So, the, so, so they're going to have some With the craft. And then, um, we're, we're of course, we're going to have the shooting sports uh, range master training. Yep. And we're also, right now we're having archery. We're working out on... Uh, seeing if we can get some BB oh. guns and slingshot happening up there as well for uh, the rest of the uh, shooting sports. And also that is the Pinewood Derby championship race for the whole council. Yes, it is. And in the morning on the council track, we're also having the outlaw race. Oh, the yeah, adults is that cool. are looking to have some fun. <laughs> oh yeah. Phil, you got a, an outlaw car. <laughs> You know, I think got to go look in the, the parents' basement and find the old Pinewood Derby car to see if I can get it souped <laughs> up and ready to go. Yeah, so uh, along with Heather and the rest of the gang, we'll see you at Scout Show. We'll see you at camp, guys. Thank you again for joining us here for the Northeast Georgia Council. Alex, our field director in Gwinnett, and Phil, our council program director. I'm your host, Daniel Victorio, with the Northeast Georgia Council. And all of our Cub Scouts out there, thanks for joining us. And I'm 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 still on. I'm just ending the broadcast now. And there's a boop 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 boop.